Fishing is an ancient tradition in Vietnam. Local Vietnamese fishermen capture fish directly from the beach, in lagoons or at sea, helped by the tidal waters. Over time, various traditional fishing equipment has been developed. Today I'm heading to Phu Yen on the central coast of Vietnam to continue my journey to discover more about the country. I've come to Phu Yen to try and learn about fishing equipment used by the fishermen in this region. Every person around here knows how to use one of the local uh, fishing boats, the traditional Vietnamese fishing boats, and how to row them, but not me. That's the first thing that I'm going to try and teach myself about. Basket boats are a familiar sight in Vietnamese areas and widely employed in the central coastal provinces as a way for fishermen to earn their daily living. The boats are also employed as mobile convenience stores in ports, selling food and drinks to fishermen before they depart. After catching fish, they are also used to transport the catch ashore. Located by the Con River, Phu Mi'i village is well known for the traditional craft of making basket boats. Basket boats made by Phu Mi'i villagers have been exported to different countries around the globe, including Thailand and Switzerland. So as I said, the first thing that I'm going to try and learn about is the traditional round Vietnamese fishing boats. So I've come to a village called Hol Quac, which is uh, famous in this region for producing the best fishing boats. The family of Chuong Ban Chung and Chuong Bik Kio has been making basket boats for more than 10 years. The couple, who own a small production facility in the village, are very proud that their products are known by foreign customers. They were surprised to see me coming to their village to learn about their traditional products. So this is going to help to mould the boat, if you like, that distinctive traditional Vietnamese fishing boat. The primary feature of the basket boats is what they're made from, which is mostly bamboo. Bamboo is very cheap and it's also very available in the region. If compared to tropical hardwoods, bamboo basketry is pretty inexpensive and resistant to the various hazards of the coast. Don't think he's very happy with me. Nói chung là nó em làm là cái tay em đây nó còn cứng, em chưa được mềm dẻo để gọt vành và ráp vành. Tay đầy này, tay kéo này. Rồi. Tại sao à? Quyền này có nhiều vầng thế. Khi xuống biển người ta đi lưỡi á, cần cái vành này càng lớn á, cái thủng càng vững để người ta đứng ở trên kẹo lưỡi á. Trung's life as a basket boat maker started when he married a girl from the well-known Phu Mi'i village. After a decade of making traditional fishing boats for many fishermen, the trade hasn't made him a wealthy man. Every month, his family are able to produce about 30 boats, which range from one to four million Vietnam dong, 
or $50 to $200, depending on the size. So the final step in making these boats is uh, trying to make it as waterproof as possible. And the method that they uh, use to do that in this region is, is a speciality of the region. And that's what I'm going to learn a little bit more about now. Okay, At this point, it then needs to be slathered in buffalo and cow dung. This wasn't what oh, I was expecting yummy. to be doing today. Oh. Hi, you cool? Hey. Có đủ chưa? Rồi đủ một mặt thúng rồi. Rồi. Em lấy cho chị nhá. Rồi. Nhiều thế. <laughs> okay. Mrs. Keel explained to me the logic behind the method. She said that because the cattle's diet consists of mainly grass, their droppings are fibrous matter, which will fill up the tiny holes in the boat and prevent the water from absorbing inside. That smell is so bad. My eyes are watering. Some combo wheat. All I'm trying to think to myself right now is this might one day save a fisherman's life. quite amazing if this works really of all the materials that they can use they've used the one that they they have available that's uh that's pretty cool really once the cow dung has dried there are two more layers of waterproofing latex that hold in the manure and keep the bamboo dry while a well-made basket boat can last up to a decade, this sealing process will need to be repeated at least once per year to keep the boat safe and afloat. And I think that is everywhere done. So there we go, the finished boat, what a beauty. The only thing that we need to do now is wait for it to dry and then it's finished. thùng của làng tôi thì bán hàng như của gia đình tôi thì từ Quảng Ngãi đến Mỹ Tho. Có nơi thì đặt ví dụ như 10 cái, 20 cái, 30 cái. Chào chào chú. Chào giúp môn họp buổi truyền. À chào và chú đi đi cùng được không? À được. Được à. Rồi. À em cảm ơn anh rất nhiều. Cảm ơn anh. This is the first time I've witnessed a whale worshipping ritual, or Le Ko Ngu, in the, in the central coast of Vietnam. The ritual is carried out annually to pray for good weather and safe sailing for the fishermen of the region. Here at Da Zia Reef, you can see the presence of the traditional basket boats as a decoration for this beautiful landscape. But Chu Bai told me that local people here often place their boats on the reef as they can easily carry them when they need to go offshore. So after having made the boat, we need to know how to use it. And one of the most important techniques that the, the fishermen use is uh, how, their special way of rowing the boat. I'm here with Mr Bai who's going to teach me about that um, and then I'm going to try and give it a go myself. 
It's a little bit unsteady. <laughs> Help me! I felt confident that I could row the basket boat having seen so many people do it. I quickly realised it was nowhere near as easy as it looked and that I definitely lacked the skills and experience Oi. to do it. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm getting nowhere here. So different to any other rowing I've ever tried. I'm nowhere near mastering it. Come on. He just does that. Way. One of the hardest things about it is actually just keeping your balance. I keep thinking I'm nearly going to fall overboard and realistically I'm just in a tub in the water, you know? Oi. Right, time to go nowhere. <laughs> oh my lord. For some reason when he's standing up it's the boat is so stable but when I stand up it just starts going crazy. I really wanted to sort it out and learn how to row the boat. But I was still trying to figure out how to go forward without falling out of the boat or disappointing my mentor and embarrassing myself in front of these skillful boatmen. What's all right? Try. I mean, is it chair? So I'm jail zoid here. Ba, đó là biếng, cho nên chéo đó là cũng theo cũng cùng ba đi biếng. Thế à? Rồi nó xuống là cũng bơi, là bơi từ thổ nhỏ cho nên giờ nó bơi đã rành. Vâng. Oh, I'm getting a bit better movement. Maybe it is easier on your own. Oh, that's it. We're going. We're going. Magic! Oi! Here we go. I feel so close to home. Can I do it? Oi! It's such a hard skill, but maybe I'm improving. Come on. Oi! And I. Oh, yeah! Pushing me was helping me. Oi! Help. It was really all his help. We're leaving the boat there. Yep, yeah, we bring it up. <laughs> Absolutely hopeless at that. And I think in order to master it, you know, you need months and months, maybe even years of practice. I don't have that kind of time, so I think it might be time for me to go and discover something new. Ah, ciao, come on, Jules, at Neil. Chuai. Come on, yeah? <laughs> now, it's usually the case with fishermen that it's the bigger the better when it comes to the size of their catch. However, not on this beach. Here, many of the fishermen are looking for something which may not be bigger than the size of your thumbnail. The question is, how do you catch something that you can barely even see? That's what I'm here to find out. As basket boat experts, these fishermen are floating at sea from dusk till dawn to do their special job. The poles that people can see on the surface of the water are a device used by locals to catch baby lobsters. And so here it is. This is the special trap used in the region in order to catch the baby lobsters. I'm going to learn how to make one now with Chu Nam. Let's do it. The holes are drilled about 10 centimeters apart. The size and depth are crucial as the baby lobsters are picky about their hiding spots. If the holes are too big, they won't feel safe. And if they're too small, they won't enter the holes at all. The finished trap consists of a net nailed to three pieces of these prepared wood. One side of the net is free to attach to a line of rope in the water. Đây là cách làm truyền thống phải không? Cho cua cua làng này. Ngày xưa là người ta dùng bằng cái gỗ núi, người ta phân lỏ, người ta thả. 
hoặc là cái đá sinh hô dư gan người ta kể lên thế tự nhiên cái thứ đó là nó ô nhiễm môi trường à. nên là chúng tôi không có làm cái thứ đó à. sau này cách này khoảng 3 năm người tôi rút kinh nghiệm người ta làm cái bẫu này là đánh không có ô nhiễm môi trường mà lại là kết quả có tôm and so here is the finished article let's go and see if we can catch some baby lobsters with it boy there you go. put it in the bag okay dd let's go oh, i guess i'm carrying it <laughs> The bounty of lobsters that annually surfaces from November to April off the coast of Phu Yen provides income for local fishermen. Each family in the village sets up about 100 traps in their own water zone. Some have earned as much as 100 million Vietnam dong a day, which is 5,000 US dollars catching these lobsters. Right. Good day. Catch some shrimp. Oh. Chú ơi, à, thải bẩu như thế nào ạ? À? Thải bẩu là ở đây là thải bẩu bỏ bao cát trên dây, rồi bây giờ mình thả chấp rồi mới thả bẩu xuống. Ừ. Hai sao à, chú biết à, thải bẩu ở đây? Thì ở đây là cái vùng cát, ừ. nó có tôm. Mà con tôm này là ở biển khơi, nghĩa à. là ở Việt khơi. Khi mà sóng gió bão, có à. nước giàu đưa vô, nó gặp bẩu, bắt đầu nó chu vào mấy món bẩu. À, xuống à. tại cái cái cây để nó vô đây cái lỗ. Vâng, thôi mình thế. Vâng, à. vâng. Khi nào à, cây bẩu có, có tôm? Cây bẩu này là cái bẩu mới, ừ. có nghĩa là mới thả xuống là khoảng một tuần mới có tôm. Một tuần à? Bởi vì cây này cây mới là tôi nhận chắc mú nè, vâng. chắc chua nè. Ừ. Thì nó động trong đó mình thả xuống là nước biển á, ừ. nó bài tiết những chắc chua và chắc cây chắc đứng nó ra. Rồi, Ở rồi, rồi. Là, là khi mà cây bẩu à. nó đứng nó đóng cực rong á, nó động tôm luôn nó chung vào cây, không đứng không cây, ừ. nằm trong đó là yên. Rồi, cháu hiểu. Đây là cây bẩu. Đây, chưa biết. Đây, chưa biết. Oh. What, what an incredible method to catch shrimp that are tiny. They're only about this big. And uh, if these nets have caught some, that would be such a good moment. Nhỏ uh, quá. So small, look at that, that's amazing. Wow. Oh. Oh my god, so what an incredible amount of effort has gone in to catching this and such an ingenious trap for it. This is going to make him very happy because it's potentially worth quite a lot of money. What a catch and what a tiny thing. Beautiful. Freshly caught, the baby lobsters can be sold for 100,000 Vietnam Dom. But if they're kept for two months, they can be sold for double that price and used as breeders. Continuing my journey to discover the fishing trap, I was attracted by the beauty of Khu Mom Lagoon. It is a stunning bay surrounded by mountains, a truly peaceful spot. Well, there's no doubt about it. Just looking around, you can see it's absolutely beautiful here. I thought yesterday was nice, but this is just stunning. Uh, I'm actually in a lagoon at the moment, so the water is protected, um, and so it's much calmer than it was yesterday, which makes for uh, an even better picture. There are many nets in this lagoon. I'm hoping that I can find another interesting fishing trap here. Rồi, anh làm gì đấy? À, đây đang lạnh bóng, lạnh bóng để bắt cá, bỏ để bắt cá. Bắt cá với cái gì? Đây hiện là kêu mình cái bóng, cái bóng đây là cái làng truyền thống ở đây. À thế à? I met with Quang, who has been a fisherman since he was a child. He said that he would teach me how to make and use his special fishing trap. Never in my life before have I seen something like that. Let's go learn how to make it. 
course we're taking his boat, but luckily this time I'm not the driver. The fishing trap has two parts. I learned that the big part is traditionally made by women, so Quang took me to meet with Mrs. Vooti Suong, who has been making these traps for more than 30 years. Chào chào cô ạ. Cảm ơn anh nhé. À, chào chào á. Cô đang làm cái bóng mà. Cái bóng à, đường bóng. Làm như nào hả cô? Ở đây nè, bỏ rồi. Thôi lại bỏ ra đây cho nó dở. Lại bỏ ra đây cho nó dở, bỏ qua rồi nè. Đó, tôi biết cái năng thì bỏ lên. Xuống lên, xuống lên. It's really hard to uh, keep track of which which uh, piece of wood you're you're working with because they all look the same on top of each other. Ah, okay. Đây. 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 Wow. Yeah. Bộ chỉ bộ đường là ngày thì nem cái à, còn đường không là được để thăm cái thứ mười cái à. Làm cái đây là đủ in vậy chứ không khổ lắm, không có làm gì cái dư. Đủ in ngày hai bữa nha. Wow, so that's uh, quite amazing. That just through taking this and weaving it into these fishing traps, she's managed to educate her family and make a living out of it. What an incredible story. And it just goes to show how important this fishing equipment is to the region here. Ở đây, Dan Om cũng làm cái bóng không? Đi phụ nữ làm bếm, còn đàn ông là làm tôi kia, cái tôi đi đi biển. So, um, there you go, and and you can see the reason that we had that very specific shape on the grid was so that it can form this basket. However, this is not the completed fishing trap. What we need more is one of these, which is called a kai toy. Uh, now, traditionally, only men can make this, not not the women. So, uh, I'm going to try uh, and find somebody to teach me how to do this. Em chào anh. Anh anh dạy cho cho em làm cái tỏi có được không? Yeah. The entrance is a special and important part of the trap. When the fish go inside the trap, they are prevented from exiting by the shape of the entrance. Achieving this shape is what I need to learn about. Bỏ đúng đúng chín cái cọng này là bắt đầu mình vòng tròn nè. Quang told me that this work requires a lot of finesse. Tại sao con con gái không làm cài tỏi? Cái đây thì nói chung tôi không biết nhưng mà điều hồi xưa không giờ là như là cái tôi là đàn ông làm, đàn bà gái là như là không ai làm. Mà không biết là hồi xưa giờ sao đó mình không biết thiệt. Lúc đầu làm nó cũng cũng lầm thầm, không biết làm giờ chỉ mà điều làm cái tôi nó méo nó quát xấu lắm. Từ từ mình làm rồi mình chỉnh chu lại. Nhưng phải là làm mà nó lúc mới làm mà nó thuần thục vậy đâu. Rất là đẹp. <cười> so this is the final part of the trap that we need. And what will happen is this will go in here. The fish will swim in the trap and then they'll get stuck. They won't be able to come out because of this. Um, we've got it. The only thing that we need to do now is test it. So let's go do that. Đi bắt cá nhá. Vâng. Ok, đi đi. Ôi.
Right, look at that, that is absolutely amazing. Oh, all that hard work and the trap honestly works. Look at it, I can't believe it. So happy with that, the first fish I've ever caught. Where's my em say zợp vui. Yeah, hai nem mình nhẹ nhàng. Chắc chắn. Zợp vui. Quang treated me to some grilled fish using the fish that we've caught. It was as fresh as it gets, a real treat. Em mời anh nhé. Rồi, chụp sức khỏe. Wow, so what an incredible time that I've had learning about the, the different tools that the, the Vietnamese fishermen use in order to carry out their profession. It's been amazing and the fact that they all use um, natural materials to make these things is absolutely incredible. I've loved it and I hope that you enjoy the programme as much as I'm enjoying my dinner. Bing bong 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 bing b